Hey Aquarius, what's up? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome. The first card that we have out is Nine of Swords. And Three of Pentacles. Okay, and King of Pentacles. All right. Okay, if King of Pentacles is somebody outside of you, outside of yourself, this can be somebody that holds a position of power. It can be like an employer or a boss, something like that. It can be somebody that your finances are tied to or even dependent upon. And there being like you working with this person, this can also be working with somebody from a financial perspective and it can have to do with things that you're concerned about. Like this can be, maybe you're gonna be working with an accountant, something like that. It can be that type of thing. If the King of Pentacles is you, Nine of Swords can be something that you're concerned about. And Three of Pentacles is you needing to, there can be something that you need to learn that's gonna help you with this. There can be some type of I'm going to, I'm going to step into, if this is like all just on an individual level and King of Pentacles is you or it's going to be you, if you don't feel like you're in that position yet, it can be like, I'm working to learn because Three of Pentacles can be seen as sort of like an apprentice situation. It speaks about collaborations. It also speaks about being open to sort of learning new skills, especially if there's some type of learning curve and it feels like wanting to step into the position of the King of Pentacles. So this can be like, I want to become an entrepreneur. This can be like, I wanna learn how to do my own taxes. This can be, I want to start a business or I want to become financially independent. Um, or there can also be, if King of Pentacles doesn't solely have to do with finances, there can be a role that you want to step into that can feel important to you. Like, I wanna play this role, I wanna be in this position, but having Three of Pentacles can show that there's gonna to need to be like learning and absorbing that happens in order to, in order to realize this, in order to manifest it. And Nine of Swords can be so much like fear or worry or just like anxiety about this, that it can make it hard to be open to sort of working in the environment that you need to work in, in order to actually like become this or step into this position. I get the feeling of being like tired of being concerned or tired of being worried. And you can feel like you need some sort of help. I wonder too, if like maybe for some of you, you could be getting financial help. Like you could be taking a loan out or something like that. King of Pentacles is feeling like, like there can be something with a bank that's involved with this. Or it can just be somebody that you're going to for advice. Yeah, I'm seeing something feel very, very exhausting. It feels like emotionally, mentally, and for some of you, even physically draining. This can also be with an ongoing collaboration that you have as well. The anxiety slash concerns or fears or worries, it feels like they're becoming so much to the point where you can feel, you can feel like you don't have, like it's harder to tap into your inspiration or your vision for what you're trying to do. Even though I'm seeing you actively doing that, like I'm seeing you working with your magician energy, which is this concept that you have what you need to create what you want to be able to manifest what you want. 
and I'm seeing and like working with working with the ideas that you have and the vision that you have and then what needs to be done that's aligned with that like what moves do you need to make like that sort of thing but it feels like a lot of your energy is being used to actually worry rather than to generate ideas or to to get things done or get things moving and make things happen and it can be leaving you like I have no fuel left for like my actual dreams or ideas or inspiration now because it's being used up on the and exhausted by the fear that I'm experiencing that I'm feeling drained and then there are things that I need to do and I'm having a, a difficult time sort of fueling that because of the way that my energy is basically being utilized, especially as a precious resource that is like somewhat limited as we are humans, you know, like you have to take time to rest and whatnot. And you can feel like this is just, it's really difficult because having, having the magician here, this is connected with your mercury energy, which is basically the disposition of your mentality, like your thoughts and how that works and what you're focused on and those sorts of things, like just what's going on in your head and you trying to work with that. I get a feeling of creativity definitely being a part of this. Well, as that is your innate energy, Three of Pentacles can just feel exhausting at this point, especially having Nine of Wands here. It just feels like something that you're trying to do. It's not feeling easy. It is not feeling easy. And I, I wonder too, for those of, some of you, you're already in a position with King of Pentacles where you can have a lot resting on you. You can have a lot of responsibility. Like this can be like a job or a role that you already have, but it's hard to do it because there are, things that are coming up that you can be concerned about, that you can be feeling worried about, that you're like, what's coming my way? Or like, what's gonna be happening? It can be that type of thing. And then just feeling like, I don't, I'm feeling so drained by this. I don't really wanna be in this position anymore. And the magician feels like this encouragement to, like, you're only as limited, Basically, like you're only as limited as you limit yourself, but at the same time, it can be difficult to try to tap into your energy just because of the way that things are being utilized. Like I almost see the energy being cyclical here. Like I know that I need to do something or I know that I'm like responsible for my vision of what I'm doing, um, but then getting to a place where there's concern and then feeling like that eats up your energy. And then being like, oh, I feel so tired from this, like that type of thing. Like not wanting to feel this way. So what are you trying to manifest right now? I'm seeing the main point of this feels like getting to a place where things calm down or things feel settled. Like Nine of Swords is that it feels like get the most heightened state that you can be in where it's like, this is so intense for me. This is difficult to, to sort of be in my head right now and be dealing with this. It can be very ungrounded energy. You can feel unsettled. Having Six of Swords here is like, I want to move past that. I want to move forward. I don't want to be in this place anymore. I want to keep going. And especially like beyond this to not be in this position anymore mentally. You have so much going on. I'm seeing there just be a lot of stress currently. I get the feeling too that you're sort of on your own to be dealing with something. Like King of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles shows you being very capable. It also shows you being independent with the things that you're doing. Both of these energies are very independent and they can also have others relying on them. And maybe that's also part of this too, that you have someone relying on you or you have others relying on you. You have to be playing this position and it can just be for you, but for some of you, this is also about who relies on you too as you play this role. Nine of Pentacles shows you being very capable, just able to do things, self-reliant. 
that you can sort of guide yourself through things. But Ten of Wands is just feeling like you could, I, I don't know how exactly your setup is, but Ten of Wands can be that feeling of like, I'm all alone doing this, or like all of this is resting on me or weighing on me. And I wonder if that's where like the bulk of the Nine of Swords is coming from. Like I'm so stressed out about this and I it has to be me that's like carrying the weight of this during a time when I'm doing such heavy lifting currently. And I'm trying to sort of make myself into this energy because that's how I'm sort of seeing this. It feels like, like my intention is to magician, my intention is to manifest and create, although it's difficult, nine of wands. This is something that takes a lot of a deep pursuit and a persistent pursuit to sort of turn myself into king of pentacles. As I said before, king of pentacles can be, I'm running my own business. King of pentacles can be you becoming an entrepreneur. It can be you becoming independent. It can be you stepping into a role that you've been preparing for that you're getting ready to play. But I'm seeing something that it's very, very difficult. It's gonna be some something that you're playing like in the earth realm, like some type of position that you're stepping into and there will be specific things that come with that position and it feels like wanting that whole thing. I wanna play this role and the things that come with doing that, like this sort of thing. But at the same time, having magician and having nine of wands, this can feel like one of the most difficult visions to actually accomplish. Like something that's very complicated and something that can be very taxing on your mercury energy. And for some of you too, part of why this can be difficult can be having three of pentacles can be others that you have to be working with or interacting with. That can be something that adds to this. But I also see Three of Pentacles as needing to be adaptive as well, especially to take on new information or to learn new things or learn new tasks or learn what needs to be learned or do what needs to be done in order for you to finally step into this position. I am seeing though the sun on the bottom of the deck the sun can be you feeling this within you, like this is about my purpose and this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Like this is my path for right now or this is the thing that, that makes me excited to, to go out in the world and do what I'm doing. It can be that type of thing. But the sun also speaks about expression. It speaks about joy. It speaks about relief. And it speaks too about you having the energy as well. And it can be things that finally sort of manifest and come to play. Now, all of this being said, it feels almost like, I don't really know what the, I'm not seeing something that feels like advice. This feels like just talking about what's going on. Feeling tired, but still having to participate, like play the game of this in order for things to come to fruition. I am seeing that you're stepping into the position of the Nine of Pentacles, which will mean that this will definitely, either you do or you will have what you need, but it can feel like a lot of energy has to be spent in order for you to be in that position. Because I see Nine of Pentacles as being a card that's representative of you having what you need when you need it, like that type of abundance. And so you can be in this position where you're doing what you need to do. You do technically have what you need presently, even if you can be worrying about like what's gonna happen later, whatever. So like right now you can look at this and see that you have what you need. But then 10 of wands can be like, I have to put so much energy in just to be in that place. And it can feel like something that is not sustainable. Like 10, 10 of wands does not feel 
sustainable, not for a long period of time anyway. I think something that can be helpful is finding some type of way to ground your energy or to cut down on like the fear or anxiety because it does feel like that is it's like emitting energy that you could be using and it's something that's adding to you being drained so this can be like maybe you're gonna start meditating for five minutes a day or when you start feeling escalated you're gonna start doing some type of like chronic breathing or something whatever this is that you're going to be doing it feels like starting off with nine of swords is important because it has to do with your mental health and you need your mentality to be in the right place to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish and that being so important and that you have to work with that part of yourself because i'm not seeing something that you're not able to do i'm not seeing you try to do something where it's like you're manipulating the energy in a way where this isn't going to work or you need to be more realistic i'm not seeing it be that type of thing this feels more like self-management actually more than anything but like from a mental health standpoint with the nine of swords here this can also be something where like maybe you'll you'll take a walk like a five or a ten minute walk after you eat like during the day or something it can just be little little things like that that you implement that help you get the use the energy like to get it moving rather than it being something that starts shutting you down because fear is going to make you sort of it's it's restrictive it will create a type of yeah just a restrictive energy so rather than being like wow my mind is endless and it's working and there's nothing that's really blocking me nine of swords can be a big block even when it comes to your own like belief in what you're doing because that can also be part of this too like i'm so worried i'm like i don't know if i can do it or not it can be that type of thing and now i'm feeling like it's hard for me to work with what i have because i'm not sure if i can do it or not that so i'm seeing five of wands coming out I'm also seeing two of cups. Five of wands and two of cups. Okay, the sun is coming out. Five of wands and two of cups can be you recognizing where you're split from yourself and you need to bring something back together, like you need to mend something. So this can mean that if you have some type of split vision, it's sort of like working against you and what you're trying to do and to bring everything back on the same page. This can also mean that like your heart could be in different places too, possibly. That may have something to do with this. It's just that something is being worked out so there can be more of a sense of cohesion and that coming to light and it feels like it's going to concentrate your energy. And I do feel like something's gonna get easier at that point. There's conflict that's being worked out. Two of Cups is going to be you mending something. This can also be you connecting back with a vision where you feel back in an intuitive space or connected with your guides again or with your higher self maybe you've been feeling disconnected spiritually or something even even just from yourself and then the sun coming out is going to be illumination it's going to be you seeing something realizing something but also the energy that comes with you not being in separate places it's the energy that comes with a sense of cohesion during a time where you can be like really struggling because I'm definitely seeing you be in a position that does not feel ideal at all. These are like difficult working conditions, something like that. The five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Maybe there's also a resistance that you're feeling to
I don't know what exactly this has to do with it and this may just be an example it doesn't have to be the same thing for everybody but I'm seeing for some of you there's a point of contention within a relationship within a close relationship that you have and that can be something that's actually been impacting you whether it's directly relate whether you see it as being directly related or not I'm seeing something that's been going on that it feels like there's been tension and this will re be reflective of something that you're experiencing internally. Like there being some type of conflict that is being addressed, but while you're looking at it, you can be like, why is this even happening? You cannot want something to happen. I just feel like, I, this feels beyond inconvenient something that's going on and you can also feel either stuck like you don't know how to resolve it you could feel like this is also impacting your throat chakra i'm seeing that too which has to do with a lot of different things including your mercury energy that is the magician that's coming out here the only major arcana apart from the sun the sun will be able to liberate that and then I'm also seeing Four of Swords. So if you have something going on that is some type of some type of thing that is a point of contention within your life that feels almost separate from this, but is somehow energetically impacting this, and this feels like more of an emotional thing that's going on, you may like pull yourself out of that arena or at least take a break for a little bit so you can sort of recover your energy because this can also be something that's been manifesting in a way that has been sort of a siphoning force to your i'm getting like a notion of chi here it will be like your life force and what you can be seeing is that this is something that's been like low-key shutting you down Like something you may be, there may be something that's actually less in alignment and you can be coming to that realization. Yeah, I'm getting this again, a point of contention. This can be something that feels like it's a constant problem or constant conflict for the most part. And you getting into a space of, when I'm actually on the same page with myself, I'm seeing that, that this is, this is something that is creating like some type of issue to be worked out. But for some of you, that can be by needing to take a step back because it can be a sort of arena where it's like every time I interact with this person for long enough, inevitably we're fighting with one another. It can be like that type of thing. And then feeling like it splits you off from yourself in some way. As I said before, I don't know if that's going to be the case for everybody. That can just be an example of the way that this manifests. But yeah, there can be like concern over a connection that you have. There can also be this feeling of feeling disconnected from self a bit there can also be emotional slash interpersonal choices that are potentially being made and also needing to come to terms with things because five of wands is looking like something that doesn't necessarily fit together and five of cups can be looking at that and being like i'm having a hard time accepting that because i want it to fit together and the sun will be like just realizing this, bringing awareness to this. But it also speaks about, about joy and understanding as well. Like sun is, sun is seen as being a card that's like a very happy card and seeing that be connected with four of swords you can feel happy when you're independent. You can feel happy when you're sort of on your own or spending time where you get to be like 
like meditating or doing self-care or resting your mind or just doing stuff that doesn't feel like it depletes your energy, that may be where you feel happiest. When you're in a position of conflict and it feels again like maybe trying to make something work that may not necessarily work, like trying to fit pieces together that may not go together, it can be something that has this impact on you where it actually like shuts you down. And then you don't really have energy for maybe some other things in your life that you're wanting to do, that like goals even that you have for yourself, stuff that you're doing with your life in general. And you can look at something and be like, it should go together or I wish that it went together or it used to go together and feel like something just is really clashing currently. And it feels like when you're out of that environment, this can even be a work setting too for some of you. You can feel like you're arguing a lot with your coworkers or just there's a lot of tension that you're experiencing. Sun and Four of Swords can be like, I feel happiest when I'm all alone and when I'm by myself or when I like have days off from working. Four of Swords is gonna be anything that, that you see as being like restorative for you and that doesn't drain your energy and that allows you to feel like peace and calm and feel centered. And then you feel like you can think very clearly. And you would also feel like you get bouts of creativity as well. That would also be part of this too. I do get the feeling that you are slowly coming to terms with something. And for some of you, this is reflective of a relationship. Among other things that you have going on. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.